review for this week's live stream. I hope you have been enjoying your week. I hope you've been enjoying this comic. It came out in the last couple of weeks. Came out in the last couple of weeks. And yeah, I've I've this comic, literally, this comic is one of the best stories. I know I say that a lot, but really it's one of the best stories. I that it's like one of the best interesting stories to come out of I think the year 2021. And again, this cover, oh, this cover, Alex Tripp has done wonders with this cover. I'll tell you that right now, because it's just amazing. Look at it. So damn cool. So damn cool. We also have the Riddle of the Grail Malkin, episode eight, the last episode in that series. Just look at it. It's so cool. Yeah, and as you can tell by the um, thumbnail, I haven't actually got to making a thumbnail right now, so it will, the thumbnail will obviously change in the next day or so when I do actually go and make one. Because I've been doing a lot of stuff today. Um, because obviously a lot of the fans that are fans of the channel would actually hope I've noticed that there's a new, one of the new chapters out for the um, new restored Dick Tracy serial that's coming out. How's it going, Alex? Your, tr your cover, mate. It's awesome. I know you, I saw your comment on, um, I think, one of the YouTube videos, like, I think yesterday or something. So, yeah, thank you for commenting. I get this cover is awesome, man. It's awesome. So we'll get into the story. As I've said during this live stream, we've only been up for two minutes or something. So we have the Christmas special coming out this week, I'm hoping. And I'm also hoping that with this week and last week, last, last week, I think we may have seen Giant Size Phantom number 19 come out. So yeah, that is one of the so yeah it i i haven't got that um the giant size phantom number 19 yet so i'm hoping to pick that up and the christmas special that's coming out this week uh, hopefully and as always we always get to see with the christmas special we always get to see either sunday or daily um colored stories which actually hopefully they always happen every year and i think the last comic that the last comic that was published um probably two or three weeks ago um i actually i had a letter in that um in that comic at the end of that comic i'm i actually um well wrote a letter to Dudley Hogarth, who is obviously the editor um, and the um, publisher at Fu Kuru and Few Publications. And yeah, I was just asking to do with these Sunday and daily stories. I was sort of asking along the point where why is it that we just only just seeing the daily and the Sundays being published in the Christmas stories and the Christmas special? And why is it that we're only just seeing that, but we're not even seeing other of the dailies and Sundays in the regular series throughout the year? And yeah, he's Dudley, he's a great person, I would say, because I always, when a new Phantom comic comes out, I always tend to read his um, message from the publisher notes. And it's always, he's, sometimes Dudley is one of those, um, uh, he's sort of a, sometimes he can, you can, he can just slip some jokes in there, or he'll just make something out of nothing, it'll just be, somehow be funny. Um, like, I guess, I think this, the last bit of the publisher notes for this comic, it says, 
And it also talks about you, Alex, as well. Who better to team up with Ordon than a relatively new young Australian artist with a possibly questionably Polish sounding name? Look at his cover. Wow, that's, that's all I have to say today. I'll say it again. Wow, sleep tight, things may go bump in the night. Yeah, he sort of, I think Dudley sort of, in the last, well, especially this year, he's been, I don't know, trying to introduce, I feel like he's trying to introduce humour into his publisher notes. Um, which are cool, and he still has that little sort of interesting information in the publisher notes and all that sort of stuff. So, so let's get into this comic. Um, so we have the Nosferatu's, the Nosferatu's Revenge. Now the artwork for this story is done by Jen. Let me get this right. Janice Auden, and the writer is legendary Klaus Remurphy. So the story is set back in 1939, and the Phantom is traveling in, um, is traveling after a visit to Walker's Table. The 20th Phantom drives west through the desert towards Los Angeles. And this story, I I said this at the beginning, but this story, it's very it's one of I think by the pay, page thirteen or fourteen, I was literally saying that it's a very it was getting very interesting. So it was a very interesting story. I loved it. And yeah, the Phantom basically he basically um is he's in a plot to do with a very big sort of horror movie in the 1930s where it's based and he meets up with the director of that movie which he then the director explains to the phantom what the movie's about and invites him to the movie studios where he the phantom will obviously see what is actually going to happen on camera like usually you'd have to be a very i'd say close person or close friend to actually be able to go onto a set of a movie like a big time movie i would say you'd have to be very um well known or have a very good friendship with the director or something i don't know i don't know if that happens anymore in today's movies but the comic um one of the actors, one of the main actors and one of the main people in this film, actually, he goes off his head, basically, at the big honcho person that is running the movie studios. And he's he's talking about, I think, his brother, his brother's contract, which is Joseph's contract with us. He's basically wanting his brother to still be on the movie, although that he's also his brother, you'd say, isn't a well-known person. So if the directing team and if the movie studios basically cut him, then there's a possibility that he's not going to get a job anywhere else. So his brother, called Vlad, was asking for a salary increase and if he refuses if the big movie honcho refuses the um vlad the brother that is the main star in these movies in this comic book you'd say in this comic story will leave the film company so and basically i don't want that to happen the phantom in the lower parts of the panel of the page number six um reads an article about vlad and it's all about him and his mad genius or something so then when we're back to the movie set so the brother 
the movie that he, the director's obviously directing, it's just getting to a point where it's been a very um, juicy bit. And then the brother basically stumbles on set and basically ruins the shot, basically. Um, and the director gets a little bit angry at him. So then the Phantom introduces... The director introduces the Phantom to a couple of actors. Later that night, the Phantom gets um, invited to Vlad's house and Vlad shows him around the different um, props that were used in his movies. Um, Vlad tells the Phantom about his um, childhood and how he got to Hollywood, then shows him the big party that the Phantom has been invited, invited to. So one of the other actors, one of the more female actors in this um, comic story actually tries and basically she's going to try and uh, she's basically going to try and trade he, Vlad's brother in so he can she can then go to and try and get a better person basically and in that time and in that time Vlad gets kissed by the person, the, basically, this person here is his person's brother's lover, basically. And a camera gets pointed at him and both of them. And the shot is taken during that night. The photo gets published in a news article page. The brother then... One of the brothers and then murders the news, the journalist. And it's around this sort of time, it's around this sort of page area where it really starts to get interesting. Because we have one of the actors, she's came to the set and one of the brothers is dressed up in sort of like a Dracula sort of um, costume and then murders her in cold blood. And then the cleaning lady found the actor on the floor and the two investigators say very violent. Someone must have really hated her. So they're doing the investigating. The Phantom, or no, the investigators go to, oh, mate, the director's home or the person, the brother's home. He, the investigators find that the brother isn't there and he's fled the ship um the director is having a talk to the phantom the phantom investigates the director get nearly gets murdered but the phantom saves him and protects him the so-called murderer gets away um the Phantom and the director try and chase him and see where they're going, the murderer is going. It leads them to Midas Film Company. They then catch the murderer off guard and the murderer catches them off guard, which then... which then... Um, the Phantom and the director nearly get murdered by the monster, which is supposedly supposed to be um, one of the brothers, which we finally work out that the Phantom, he saves the day, and guess who it is? Guess who it is? It's one of the brothers. It's not Joseph. It's not one of the other sort of people that is very well very very um what's the word for it? very um is very jealous about him but he's it is one of the other brothers it's not joseph it's actually vlad basically 
Um, and we end the story with the prior next day on the Phantom basically talking to her, his wife. And I'll read this little panel. So the next day, sorry I wasn't more day says sorry i wasn't here when you came back but my aunt just wouldn't give up were you bored without me and the phantom says in a full phantomish sort of ending he says no i can't say that i was and then we end the story there so we're going to be taking a break from the story right now and in the last couple of days I've actually seen some actually newsworthy topics. So in the last couple of days, we had few publications. They released a photo which was published on the Phantom Fans website and on Facebook and Instagram. And soon, hopefully the, by the end of this week or by even next week, Few publications will eventually be releasing their new graphic novel called The Monster and the Ghost. Now, by my predictions, and by the, my predictions, obviously I do not have the book, obviously because it hasn't came out yet. And right now, right now with that book supposedly supposed to come out either this week or next week, um, I reckon... If I do get a copy of it, which I will be eventually, probably next year, um, I do think on first regards, looking at the photo, it looks like an interesting story, but it's hard to tell because obviously you haven't actually read the story. And if it's going to be an interesting story, you'll make that um, decision when you're actually going to read it. So yeah, the other sort of newsworthy topic that also we are going to be talking about is that in, I think, Germany, Germany's new Phantom publisher, um, their new book, one of the new Phantom publishers' new book is going to be released in, I think, early January. As I saw on Facebook in the last couple of days, they're going to be publishing their new book, in the early January next year. So that's very exciting news that one of the fans has obviously um, reported on. And if you do not follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you can follow me on Instagram at Phantom Cave Reviews and on Facebook at Phantom Cave. And if you want to get even deeper into basically what where I actually promote my stuff and where I actually share a lot of the uh, newsworthy articles and stuff, you can actually, we've actually got a fa Facebook group and it's called The Cave of the Phantom. So we have this latest episode of Phantom by Gaslight, The Riddle of the Grey Malkin. So we've basically had what's going on in the last episode. If you haven't been following this series, basically a rare Grail Malkin cub, um, this ex jungle expedition, who is also with a renowned artist or a renowned um, sort of a renowned actor. So the actor goes on this jungle expedition they eventually try and find a rare jungle cat. The One of those cubs, the jungle cat, actually had cubs, and one of those cubs comes back to New York, and then that cub gets kidnapped by the one and only, the honcho himself. The professor then gets basically is the person that is orchestrating the kidnapping. And by the end of the seventh episode, his mansion or stately home is woofed up in um, flames by um, the other bad people that he was mixed up with. 
And so Paris Green, which is the actor, the high profile actor that was with the Jungle Expedition, she is actually talking, or well, you'd say flattering and basically charming these fire officers or fire engine people. And by the end of that panel, Paris Green nearly um, invites them over for dinner. Well, why wouldn't you? Um, so the Phantom then scurries the Paris Green along. The Phantom then says, the money's not missing. Yeah, the money's not missing at all, is it? No, of course not. The, it's in the bag. You realise that's evidence. That may be, but it's my money first and evidence second. So by the end of this, we have a small chat. Phantom and the Phantom and Paris Green have a small chat with the journalist that was covering the story on her going to the jungle. Um, Paris Green tells the story about what happened in the jungle and how there is a jungle cat living in New York City. The Phantom gives a, well, wise courage words to the journalist on how to be brave. And by him being brave, it's to expose corruption when you find it, defend the helpless, stand up to those who would exploit the world, be the voice of all that is true and fair. Do all this and you will have lived a life as worth as any. So the Phantom and Paris Green are back in the alleys of New York, or at the, as the, uh, the boundaries of New York. There's a killer that is going to try and kill them. The killer gets scared off because he sees a medallion that the Phantom with the four Piece, which is basically the old, um, um, it's the, um, yeah, the good mark ring. It's the good mark sign or symbol for it to basically protect people that actually have the good mark symbols. So they then are able to basically go throughout a jungle and not actually get hurt by any of the natives, or basically it's a protection thing. Um, so the killer gets scared off of that. The Phantom and Paris Green continue on their ways. They have a little talk at the end, which they're basically going to... Paris Green is going to try and introduce the cub back to his mother. The mother and cub have the usual gra gra sort of talk, and the cub chooses not to go with the mother, but actually to go with the Paris Green. So Paris Green and the cub, um, they go back on the big steamboat, and at the end of this page, we see good old the Phantom and Paris Green having a goodbye smooch. So we see Paris Green, she's basically going back to New York. She has the cub, but there's a but here. So there's a question mark. What could possibly have made her do... Okay, so, oh Fuji, we're finally heading home. Give Mama a big cuddle. Was that big old cat nasty to my widow baby? What could possibly have made her do a thing like that? And then we get the image of the special serum that lets... That basically, if you have that special serum, you'll basically be able to... Um, have a dangerous animal basically she paris green then throws the last living glass serum of that serum 
over the boat, and then the phantom ponders. Back in the skull cave, the phantom ponders. The way that mother cat reacted, it was just like the time that... But no, Paris wouldn't have. Would she? Could she? And then down the bottom we had she would. Ghost who walks, she would. She is, after all, not called the unstoppable Paris Green for nothing. A footnote to this tale. Paris Green would be stopped one day, fatally, by a bout of influenza. Some three years after these events, the Phantom would meet her once more before her ultimately demise. But that is a tale for another day. Ooh, good ending. I say good ending. So we have the forum, letters, comments, social media. And I've actually read all those today. So if you would like to basically share your suggestions with Dudley, you can basically mail to Few Publications, P.O. Box 2206, Coverley West, New South Wales, 2031, or you can email Dudley Hogarth at dudley at fewpublications.com.au. Then we have the ad this week, and this has been in quite a few books this year. Play the Phantom Board Game, Treasures of Dracon, now available at few publications or at their official website, phantomcomic.com.au for $135, including postage. And I have two copies. One that's still in the box from the Kickstarter and one that is just another one from their website. Have another final look at this cover. Beautiful. Absolute beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed that comic review. Let me get some light on me. So I hope you enjoyed that comic review. I hope you are going to be enjoying the end of this year as we are going to be publishing or re releasing a Christmas special on Christmas Day. We're going to be releasing the 2021 best top 10 Phantom covers of this year done by myself. And we're also going to be releasing a end of the year montage of the best moments on camera from this year. So if you'd like to subscribe, like, share, comment, you can do so down below what your favorite comic has been or cover has been of this year. Has it been a cover done by Alex Troop? You can comment that, that down below. And officially right now, I've just started um, creating sub a subscription only section on my podcast. So if you want to check that out, the link will be down in the description down below. And as always, hey Phantom Caven, and we'll see you on, I guess, we'll see you soon.